challenges you're up against playing links golf is striking the ball well from typically a very tight line. So effectively we're trying to make contact with the ball first. Simplest thing is to play the ball back in the stance but not very much. So it's not like for example there's my normal setup, we're going to go this way, it doesn't need to do that, it's really subtle. So from a regular setup, say I, that might be my normal setup, say roughly there, I might make the smallest change, now that's no more than half an inch. That hasn't come back very far at all, but that's just enough to encourage contacting the ball you know, with a da descending blow, but not so steep. One thing to remind yourself of here is just the sort of technicality or the relative, the relative sort of science behind this. The further back in the stance it is, yes, number one, easier it is for me to strike it. But number two, the more down it's travelling the club head, the more actually to the right it's going to be travelling also. So you've got a typical strike it better, but you might hit a push. So there's two things you can do. If you practice it on this straight line and you hit pushes, then easiest thing to do is aim left and actually a really good way to play them. So you play the ball fractions back in the stance, aim a hair left to account for that push and it allows the release to be very much the same. Conversely, if you're a field player, you might want to close the face before re-gripping it, the smallest amount imaginable. If you can see it closed, it's enough. So you can work with that yourself. So effectively the rhythm's the same, the backswing's gonna feel the same, the finish is the same for me. I'm just gonna play it slightly back in the stance, just a hair, there's normal, and there's the new one. It's just back in the stance, and I'm actually gonna close the face a baby amount and make my, kind of make my normal swing here. That was a nice strike, pretty decent, baby, baby draw. That's actually nice and straight down that line. So I wouldn't have to aim left, some do. And if you work at those things, you're gonna make better contact off those difficult lines, gives you a start uh, with these difficult shots. So a nice drill to encourage, this is actually sort of quite a graphic way of figuring out if we're doing the right thing here, is put a tee in the ground, tight to the deck, actually almost punch it in there. So I'm going to play the ball back in my stance and the sole of the club just to the left of that tee peg. So the bottom of the club just left the tee peg. So if I make the swing I'm trying to make here and that strikes the ground half an inch past that, that's going to make sure I'm going to get a really nice contact with the ball. If it's behind, if it's thin, if it's late, you, you'll make natural adjustments um, and it makes a massive difference to ball striking. Okay, so it's not often you're going to turn up to a Lynx golf course where there's zero wind, you know, 95% of the time you're going to get some. So it'd be an idea to learn or figure out how to practice and keep the ball down out of the wind. Don't need to do too, too much. There's a slight change to posture, ball position, slight change to balance, but quite a big change to swing. So this would be my regular posture, ball position, weight fairly st standard, 50-50. But I'm going to play the ball back one ball in the stance and put some weight to the left. So now the ball shafts it a long way forward, it's de-lofted the club. So the best way is to actually put the brakes on the finish. Make a very, very, very short swing. Don't go past parallel to the ground. That keeps the loft on, doesn't add loft, keeps the ball nice and low. But to put the brakes on that quick, it's going to be very difficult from a full backswing. So the trick would be to feel that you swing the left arm level to the ground in the backswing only, and the shaft level to the ground in the follow-through only, and that should help keep the ball down. Balance left, ball back, short back, very short through. There's that nice driven, pretty straight shot there. It's going to hit the green, which is nice. So if you can work at that, keep the ball down, you know, you've got more things you can do, the course gets easier, the scores come down.